Good day students and welcome back to Science for Young Minds. In today's episode, we are going to talk about how plants are adapted to their environment. Now, these adaptations might make it very difficult for the plant to survive in different places. It explains why a certain plant found or grow only in one place and not in another. So what are you waiting for? Please listen well and let's have fun. Before we proceed to our lesson proper, let's learn first the vocabulary for today. First, we have the word reproduction. And second, we have the word disperse. When we say reproduction, it is to create or recreate something, usually a new living thing. Second, disperse means to distribute or spread over a wide area. We will use these words in today's lesson. Let us begin in defining what is plant adaptation. Plant adaptation is a characteristic of a plant that helps it to adapt to a condition of a particular environment. There are different adaptations that plants use to survive. First, it could be for obtaining sunlight. Second, for plants living in water. Third, for plants living in the desert. And lastly, it could be for reproduction. In this lesson, we will see various kinds of plants and their amazing adaptation skills. Now for obtaining sunlight, we have climbers. Climbers are weak stem plants that derive support from climbing up trees and other tall objects. Many of them are vines whose stems twine round trees and branches. They use a special structures called trendrils to climb on trees. Next is creeper or creeping plants. They are vines that send runners out along the ground and need plenty of room to grow. Same with climbers, they have weak stem and they cannot grow vertically or climb unless they have support. Watermelon is an example of a creeper. Now let's proceed to the second adaptation for plants living in water. We have here water hyacinths. It has a spongy leaf stalks that contain air spaces that allows the plant to float. Another example of plants living in water are mangrove trees. Mangrove roots provide support to the mangrove trees to grow on a soft mat. That is why it has aerial roots to allow it to get oxygen from the air. Now, third adaptation are for plants living in deserts, for example, cactus. Cactus has a thick, waxy skin to reduce loss of water and to reflect heat. It also has a large, fleshy stem to store water. Another unique characteristic of a cactus is that it has a thorns and thin, spiky or glossy leaves to reduce also water loss. In addition, its spikes protect cacti from animals wishing to use their stored water. Now lastly, we have the adaptations for reproduction. It has four types of dispersing plant seeds. It could be through wind, through water, through animals, or lastly, through explosion. Now first is wind. One of the examples of plants that is seed through wind is a dandelion. Each dandelion seed comes with its own individual feathery parachute to help it flow through the air. This device works very well and only a slight wind will carry seeds high into the sky. Another adaptation for reproduction of plants are through water. Take for instance, we have lotus flower. Lotus flower is an aquatic plant or a water plant. Thus, its seeds fall onto the surface of the water and float away. Now, another way of dispersing seeds are through animals. Animals like squirrel with a nut or birds when they fly from different places to another. As they carry their food, some of it will be thrown onto the ground and some will become animal droppings or their poops. In the case of bird dogs, it has hooks or turns to help them stick to the passing animals like dogs. Now 
Now lastly, we have dispersed by explosion. In the case of Himalayan balsam seed and violet, the explosive mechanism of the pouch relies on turgor pressure to provide the bang needed to launch a new generation of seeds to life. And that's it. Thank you for listening. I hope you've learned something new today. And I want to see you all in the next episodes of Science from Young. Let's continue learning and stay safe. Bye!